Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. It was a late night in September, the beginning of autumn, when the image of a stranger appeared on the left corner of my laptop. He was tall and handsome. He had a bald head, damn fit, and his late daughters were better than Brad Pitt. We clicked in a second, he took off my cold mask, and when his green eyes looked at mine, they took my breath, not only that. He cut me open, I did not see, I did not bleed, I did not feel, exactly how a doctor does with the bodies at the morgue. And he kept cutting a few months, he cut nice, but deep, my mind. Without emotions in his heart, but on his hands, now is my blood. And as he cut in half my heart, he finds my soul. He grabs it first, then he decides to make it his. He played me good, I recognize. And even if I wanted, I could not oppose. He knew from cutting me that long, which was my weakest spot. He knew that if he will cut with the kindness, if he will speak deep words to me, and if he will touch me where I need, into his hands my soul I will leave. He sold me back but did not put his soul into my heart instead, and taking mine was just for fun. I look like I am alive, but inside I am empty and dead. From time to time, I find myself lying in the seats, closing my eyes, trying to feel that the man touching me is him. Every morning, I see your face, and for that fleeting second, I am in a different place, a place where we smiled, laughed, and talked. A place where we could hold hands wherever we walked. I am reminded of this each day, every day, then the sleep clears and it's all blown away. Realization sets in and I am all alone. I quickly have to check my phone in case you have called or sent me a text. Then it hits harder as what comes next is the empty screen with your smiling face and the emptiness of this forsaken place. I wither up inside as all my hopes disappear and the burn in my heart really starts to sear. I sink back in my bed and think of you and wonder if there's anything I can do. I am knocked back every time I try to get through, and now the decision is up to you. Leave me out here in the cold under the rain. Leave me the choke and the tears and the pain, missing you every minute of every day, loving you more and more in my way. One day, my love, this will all be like a dream. I just hope we can dream it together in our place so serene. I have never had a boyfriend, not even close, but that has never stopped me from wanting one. I used to think I needed one. Like how could I possibly go through life without a guy by my side? But here I am at 24, almost 25, and still no one is around. But now I realize that I never needed one. I did not need one to make good grades or get my degree. No, that was all me. I did not need one to go to prom, and that's because I did not want to go. I did not need one to break heart, no, I could do that all on my own. I wish I could fix my broken heart myself but I cannot. But I still don't need one to fix my brokenness. God is fixing my broken heart, I will let you know when he's finished. 
How do I mend your broken heart? My entire world has fallen apart. How do I find hope in a brand new day? Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.